fulfilling one of the actions under the contingent emergency response component of the Unleashing the Blue Economy of the Caribbean UBEC project, the Ministry of Agriculture, Fisheries, Food Security and Rural Development has landed 20 new animal breeds onto the island as part of the ongoing strategy to enhance and diversify the quality of agricultural produce available to local farmers. These breeds, sourced from various states across the United States of America, include cattle, sheep, goats, and pigs, and were chosen for their resilience and ability to acclimatize to the island's tropical conditions. The animals are currently housed at the newly established Volet Station in Miku, which will serve as a hub for their adaptation and eventual distribution to farmers across the island. Project manager of the UBEC project, Shumain Clouzel, says the introduction of these breeds is expected to improve the genetic pool of local livestock, leading to better produce and increased farming efficiency. We started by finding a suitable vendor, um, finding an area, a part of the world where we were assured that we could get the type of animals who were not uh, susceptible to the sort of diseases that we've seen in the past. We were looking at um, animals that could survive the temperatures here in Sinusha. So we eventually found a, a, a ranch in the U.S. that provided support. They were able to identify um, pigs, cattle, sheep and goats and help our own team to visit these farms, identify them, pick them out, um, house them in quarantine for a while before they were eventually brought to St. Lucia. This morning we saw them inspected and offloaded and now being installed at the facility here in Bollet. Minister for Agriculture, Fisheries, Food Security and Rural Development, Honorable Alfred Prosper, in highlighting the importance of this undertaking, says the Agriculture Ministry is committed to providing farmers with the best resources to enhance their productivity and livelihoods. As he explains, an artificial insemination lab will be commissioned in the coming weeks to propagate these breeds, enabling controlled breeding and ensuring that a rapid expansion of high-quality livestock varieties are readily available to farmers across the island. I must say I'm very happy with what I saw, what I've seen so far. I am hoping that the Ministry of Agriculture will really use that opportunity to develop the livestock sector in a big way and especially the artificial insemination program that we are going to commence as part, part of this whole venture and exercise. I am hoping that we'll do the best we can to begin a launch or to, or to launch this agricultural station in a big way to be able to boost and work together with our livestock stock farmers in terms of boosting our food security. Currently under the program, the government is supplying livestock farmers with approximately 1,000, 1,000 gallon water tanks free of charge to assist them in the livestock development. So this ministry is moving in a direction that is very critical, very important for the sector, very important for the development of St. Lucia, especially when it comes to food security. This week's introduction of 20 quality breeds into the local livestock subsector underscores the importance the Agriculture Ministry has placed on establishing productivity as the industry modernizes. From the Communications Unit of the Ministry of Agriculture, I am Anisia Antoine reporting.